Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and welcome to episode 4 of the Uliot playthrough of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. As always, playing on the actual console, no emulation for anyone who's new here. Hello, everyone in chat. Hello, Carter. Welcome, Carter. Carter came to the final episode to make it the second to final, but not today, my friend. I have only two chapters left. I'm ready for shenanigans. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you have the urge to paint the red doors black? Is that some kind of red drum? <laughs> yeah. Uliath, we've, we've been watching uh, we've been watching Richard Doyle argue with himself a lot in the Uliath playthrough. It never hit me like this time, but every time he's talking to himself in front of the portal, it's like reading lines is Uliath. Now reading lines is meant, I mean, uh, Pius Augustus. Now reading lines is Juliet again. That must have been some recording sessions. But yeah, it's... Uh, May the rat eats, the rats eat their eyes. Uh, what, wait. Painting the red doors black. What Beatles reference? Why you? What do you mean Beatles reference? I don't understand. You just made it up, sir. You don't even know who the Beatles are. I am the biggest Beatles fan. I only know the Beatles, only me. <laughs> oh, that's that's the that's the the Rolling Stones. That's why I was confused. Yeah, painted black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Stones. And like animals if you if you like the if you like the <laughs> the Eric Burden and War version that's that's a that's such a good version of painted black 12 minutes or 14 minutes. Woo woo woo! <clears throat> oh wait, wait, frozen? It should try refresh, refresh. Yeah, I was saying it's uh, it's you mean the Rolling Stones, not the Beatles. That's the Rolling Stones painted black, painted black. Um, also like there's a there's an animals, not really animals. Eric Burden and War version, which I simply adore. It's twelve or fourteen or something like that. It's a longer version, but yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, painted black as Rolling Stones when um, what's his face late um, Brian Jones started experimenting with sitar and other instruments. It was one of the first songs they actually recorded, and it's on their Flowers compilation, which is all like drugs in music. It's basically if drugs were put into music, that's the Rolling Stones' Flowers. It's not. There are better psychedelic albums and stronger and all that, but you know. It's the Rolling Stone. I'm too young for this shit. <laughs> okay, sir. Sir, please get out. Out. <laughs> Confusing Beatles is though. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, their early works are definitely easy to mix up. Later, though, when the drugs hit, they hit them differently. So, you know, you can tell the Beatles from the Stones later. But in the beginning, yeah, they even covered each other's songs. There's a... Which one was it? I mean, they both covered Chuck Berry songs, sure, but uh, which one was it? Yeah, when we don't, you go when you get me started on classic rock. I could talk about it for for ages. Maybe my dad heard this. Oh, he's gonna weigh in. He's the he's the rock master here. He's the rock grandmaster and the grandfather. Oh man, he's really like he's a grand guy. All right, guys. So I was brave last night. We did an extra chapter, which leaves us with only two chapters this time. And uh, <laughs> and uh, grumpy or not, here we go. Uh, yeah, with Alex. I, would, I keep saying I forgot so much because I expect to just run through this. But still, these are pretty pretty quick uh, playthroughs. Considering I'm not speed running, I'm just playing the game, not reading everything, but some things I read. There you go. No sanity. Sanity's for the weak. We're going the lowest possible sanity. Though I will... You know what I noticed, Carter? So, near the very... N n towards the end of uh, Edward's chapter in uh, Enga, there is no point to have low sanity. It just hurts you because there are barely any sanity effects happening, yet the Guardians deplete sanity a lot and drain his health. So, that's something I learned. Also, Carter, you weren't here... When we started, so this playthrough is a little different than the last two. We're doing 4x3, so not widescreen. We're doing as as God intended way back then. And we're also doing interlaced, full resolution, full, full uh, frame rate. So the game's on stream. It's running much closer to what I see on TV, you know, in terms of smoothness. Yeah, Secret Legacy of Kane game. Legacy of Kane, The Darkening. That's the one. <laughs> wait, we need a crank. What's the last thing I got? I should get a package, should I? Oh no, wait, that's not it. Edward left a note. Yada, yada, yada. He left it with the wine. That's right. Edward. Edward was tipsy when I was writing this. He was like, my dear Shalix. Wait, that's not my granddaughter. Her name isn't Shalix. Somewhere here. Among the wine. There's something stashed between the barrels of port. Pickaxe, sure. Oh, wow, that's it. Not even a shotgun, Grandpa. Oh, okay, Grandpa. A uh, shotgun's gonna be in here. <laughs> well, it shouldn't. Well, I mean, it shouldn't add any. As far as the stream screams uh, concerned, I always measure these to fill the full fucking screen. There's a black bar on the right, but we need that space for chat, the cam and all that, so that's good. So yeah, it, I can go full screen, but these old games, there's no point. I'm not gonna, I decided not to play or stream any of the pre 7th gen games in widescreen because it's pointless. They weren't, like, it's always fake widescreen, it always just takes what you have and it stretches it, either like vertical minus which means squishes it then zooms to fill the picture or it stretches the image to fill the picture both methods are not true widescreen so yeah ah there you go uh, especially since it's interlaced it should so i'm going full exact 59.94 frames per second which is the true 60 hertz of the of the old days so actually i didn't this is pal 60 but i'm pretty sure it's also 59.94 that 0 0.06 frames per second actually went to the color info and ntsc and later pal 60 systems 
but Paul was true 25. Interestingly, NTSC started at exactly 60 fields, 30 frames per second, one as black and white, but they, when they introduced color, they had to like pinch from somewhere bandwidth, and they chose to pinch 1.0.06 frames per second to add color. And that's why it's such a weird value. For modern screens, it's actually 60, but yeah. Yee-ho! Well, you know, one day when I get uh, that Micomsoft uh, capture card or something as good or better... Oh, shit. See, this looks much better in smooth frame rate. Imagine this scene, just sleeping tightly and the maniac comes in and kills you. They weren't even possessed, I think. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what it's supposed to do? So this is red, green, red. Red. Dispel. I think it was three point, right? Right? Oh, so Max put that there. Max protected it for some reason. Stethoscope. Scrap of paper. Another piece of journal. As I contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago, I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw it twist in a more peculiar direction, most peculiar, and a bulge of muscle tissue col collect and grow in the most incorrect of manners, as if a bone was being displaced from its proper location and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away knowing that I was surrounded by unholy creatures that wore the skins of mortal men and women. I had to take action. Dear God, let my hand be swift and merciful, lest the world see more of these diabolical creatures. Hello, Najuni. Welcome, Najuni. Good evening, and welcome to the end of all things. This is the room where we start in the intro when we're fighting the hordes of undead. It's this room that she dreams of. So this was... Oh, shit, man. That's the, that's the stain when he shot him 200 years ago. Hundred and something years ago. Still on the wall. But yeah, this room just walled off. Even the windows boarded. Nobody in a hundred something years bothered, you know. What happened to the fourth skull? Nobody bothered opening this, you know, unearthing. Alright, we got the stethoscope. Let's Ah Jesus Christ, my head. Alright, I can walk without an neck. That's like it's modern times. I have this. No, okay, one arm still can do it. People have done worse. I can open the door. Well, now I'm fucked. I can't even open the door. Now I'm Mrs. Torso Girl. Uh, Mrs. Leg Girl. Alright, some sanity effects will occur. This can't be happening. Oh, but it is happening. It's happening big time. What is up there? Is it, is it bleeding, Alex? Okay, Eileen, come. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There are these fuckers now. Push off. Alright, be right back. Yeah, with them, no fucking around. I, sh I could run, but... Oops, no, that's too much. I don't want to use that much. That was wasted mana, but who cares. Recover. Assign. Green. Three point. There you go. Minor. Sanity boost. Not major. Max might sound insane, but not only... Oh, hi, Lyubka! But not only is he a doctor, he studied those creatures. You can even read his notes. Yeah. If he says those people were monsters, he's probably correct. <laughs> it's the Lovecraft principle. Well, yeah, he could have been paranoid after what he saw in Enga, but you know, it did. I finally read all of them, Carter, by the way. All, I have all the autopsy entries for all three of them. And some of them, like Uliot ones I read, he can read them. Within. Worried apart. After his chapter. Fish, parasitic feeder of their sunken graves. These brown zombies emerged, spilling Hi, Lyubka. Oh, going to Slava. Well, have fun at the Slava. Step, each step, hoping to bring an end to 
their pain. Okay, yeah, I, I, I listened to this, but yeah, I got them all. I ca caught them all, Carter, like some grizzly Pokemon master. What's Najuni? Najuni preparing to stream or to work or like just chilling? Here's one for Najuni. Yeah, of, I mean, of course it is. I'm not saying it isn't, but you know, he could be. It's not impossible he was wrong for some of them because some of those servants in the cutscene look uh, genuinely surprised. If they were possessed by, uh, what are they called? Uh, bone thieves? They would have been. They wouldn't have to sleep, would they? So I'm thinking, because one skull is missing. Four clearly open, occupied be beds and only three skulls. Only one of them was actually possessed, I think. But he killed them all to be safe. He couldn't have known, you know, with the doctoring skills of the 1800s. Ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. We don't need to kill anything. No, don't punch. Don't do that. There's a trapper there as well. We don't need to kill them, really. Mantarog zombies, but no... We have... Well, I have the revolver, I guess. Oh, wait, I have the gla gladius. And then uh, let's do let's do a Mantarok enchantment on it. Five-point Mantarok. Until we get the enchanted gladius. Nice, right on time. Wait, does it matter if you kill a Mantarok zombie with a Mantarok enchantment? Okay, good for me, they're very slow. I like how each character finishes zombies off completely differently with the same weapon. There's more of them, I hear. Do I need to clean the house? No, I'm just going to the basement. <laughs> but why would they sleep? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, these so these shabby ones are Mantarok zombies, and they're they're very weak because of the binding of Mantarok. It even gives you like a clue if you try to summon something, like try to summon a zombie or something with a Mantarok rune. It tells you the Mantarok rune cannot be used in summoning magics. The binding of Mantarok has weakened it, and it can no longer fuel incantations of this kind. So all the Mantarok zombies we see, Mantarok must have summoned them himself itself in order to protect the tome but that's about it it would be i imagine if but but mentor doesn't want to you know doesn't want to be possessed or uh, or what's the word you know uh, oh why is it so blurry it's like i'm losing vision or possess humanity of, of the of all the, of all the ancients that fell mentor is the only one that's like you know we don't need to do this. We just, we need, he's basically kind of like those aliens from the first prey. We need them alive to harvest them, kind of. The other three just want to fuck everything up in their own way. But Mantarok, no, he's like, he's not a good guy. Definitely not a good, he's not benevolent. But yeah, he's like, easy guys. We need food for a long time. And, you know, humans provide. As we've seen in the Khmer temple uh, on the murals. A stethoscope can hear tumblers. To the right until the tumblers, but then left, yeah. So left, right, uh, right, left, right, okay. Now we listen. Is that right? Slowly. Come on. Hippie Tesla, the safe cracker. <laughs> okay. There you go. As the safe doors hinges open and contents are revealed, many important items are in there. Yep. 
That's the, that's what I was. That's where he hit it. Ashes to ashes. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that Lovecraft? Wasn't that from the Call of Cthulhu? Mentor, yeah, well, <laughs> he sleeps. He's he never truly sleeps with his seven thousand eyes, but yeah, he's been severely weakened. You do see him as uh, Elia and later as Lindsay, but yeah, 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 it is. It, no, wait, that's beyond the wall of sleep, right? That's beyond the wall of sleep. It can't, it can't be that what forever sleeps. That's something like that. That's Eddie Iron Maiden's, um, the band Iron Maiden. Their mascot Eddie was based on Edward from that story. There's a there's a movie Beyond the Wall of Sleep, which is amazing. You know, aside to aside from the Black Sabbath song that is fucking amazing, uh, there's also that. Yeah, the movie's pretty good. Oh, there's the creeper again. With his giant hands. Look at those hands. A storm approaches, Augustus. But we're in space, dude. We don't care. Oh, shit. And a torrent of Woodstock 94, huh? Young and vibrant. Yes. I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure. And one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below. Yes, I'm talking like this. This is me talking without a lich. This is, this is what he would sound like without a lich. He wouldn't be able to shriek like an owl ring. Yes, my dude, Pius. I do want to see from the portal into the realm of the living. Ah, source. I'm sorry, uh, he's talking like this, and I should talk like this, and she's actually talking. <laughs> I don't know why that bothers me now, but give the man some lips for the love of fuck. I guess the ancients gave him, you know, lips. What did I get? Oh yeah, the chapter page. Here we go, going totally nuts. Bananas. First, let's not forget, because I will forget. So let's see, there's a Mantarog zombie, I'll show you one. Oh shit, we have spiders on the screen. Spiders on the screen. Spiders on the screen. Where is he? I hear him. Oh, there he is. That's a Mantarog zombie. Follow me here, dude. Little dude, come on. Come here, I want to show you to Carter. Come on. So those, those guys, they're barely walking. I'm doing shit. He's kind of stuck there. I didn't mean that one. I meant uh, this is an older movie called Beyond the Wall of Sleep. It's uh, it's based on the story, you know. I think the story is also called Beyond the Wall. That's a Mantarog zombie. He's barely moving. And they always go back to their post if you don't kill them. So they can also be poisoned. Mantor or Kroon enchantment works like kind of like poison. It continually drains health. So you can basically, I just learned, you can, I never tried it, but you can poison a Mantor zombie with Mantor enchantment. That's gotta be something special. Wherever disaster and death lurk. There is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune. 2000 is... Toward their own Man, then I'm old. 2000 for me is still pretty new. <laughs> of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war. The ancient script... Good to see you, Carter. ...knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. It looks so much better like this. <laughs> Out 
Thank you, man. It's hot. I'm getting a little nervous about this one. It feels more out of control than Again, a Metal Gear Solid actor. That's big like Pete. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Relax. That's Colonel Campbell again. Two Metal Gear voices. In one cutscene. Nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the Snake! Snake! I mean, what's the guy's name? <laughs> Michael! <laughs> yeah, the last two chapters are really long, but that's why I think it'll be okay. It's only been an hour, so um, yeah. Of course, you know, when I turned on the laptop, we got the AC replaced. I think you saw on Discord and everything, it was a lot of dust and, you know, drilling walls, all that shit. So cleaning was done on time and all that. But then, of course, sometime between... Sometime after my morning and before I normally stream, a lot of these companies released their updates. And there were like, I'm gonna say seven app updates. They're all dead. McCormick. A lot of updates. All gone. Yeah, we boosted. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to like when it explodes to under tons of concrete. It's supposed to um blast the op the opposing Guard it well. Ancient energy. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins a gathering of light. You want me to take this? To some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Hurry, man. I don't Save us. Oh. Not, ma not many explanations from Roberto. All right, Mike. All right, we need a third effigy here in order to get the... Got to find the weapons. They're going to be here, I think. Yep. How about the light? Is the light automatic? Equip. Yeah, you can equip it. He's he's got the best deal here. Woo! He can he can have the light and the weapon. He's the only one in the entire game who can do that. Unfortunately, got to finish them cuz they don't die easy. Alright. That's a big Uliad zombie. <laughs> chop chop. Choppity chop. Alright. So was there anything else here? <laughs> hey there, Tulu down there in your sunken city. Is there more of them? Yeah, there's... That's six now, isn't it? No, that's five. Five should be. Yeah, two, two, and one. That's it. You're a billion light years distant and the stars look very pretty. What is that? It's like a poem? More dead men, but they have nothing on them. Yeah, all right. So there's just one door out of here, I think. Yep, and it's south. Which is over there. That, that's south, of course. Let's not forget. Because there's going to be a lot of the darkness is coming moments. Oh, no. Time. 
Oh my god, he can do it on him. Well, doesn't that suck? <laughs> doesn't that suck greatly? So I just gotta pass him if possible, yeah? Just ignore him. He's not gonna help me there. Oh shit, he got me. He heard the axe. He heard the axe hit the... Hit the wall. We need the red one. No! Alright, can I go back slowly? Yeah. Oh shit, piece of his piece of piece of his body fell off the <laughs> completely off the <laughs> the whole dimension thingy. It's a song Hey There Tool, a parody of Hey There Delilah. Like from Tom Jones? Because that would be funny, having a Cthulhu song with that melody. Didn't have to finish him though, but that's okay. Just need to finish the Uliot ones because they'll be back. So there's one. Yeah, let's go ladder by ladder. Need the stick after that. Okay, Just try to go behind him. Is the stick over there? I think it is. Nope, there's nothing there. Okay. I still need the tome, and the tome won't be here until we do something. There's another trapper there. Man, the Uliot's really protecting this place, is he? I need the gl It's a Glock, right? Glock 17, yeah. Gonna need. Uh, what's that? It's is it like an is it like an anime? <laughs> Magic Glock, yeah. <laughs> Don't have to finish these guys, so we can get some uh, sanity effects. So Mantorok zombies are pretty easy to finish most of the time. They have very low vitality because uh, of the binding and all. Look, that's a baby one. Don't need arms. Alright, we're in crazy territory now. There's the stuff. So this is caved in. There's nothing left there. There should be one more here, as in one more. Do I have to enchant it? Nah, staff would be done. Yeah, don't need to enchant it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, is it the least? I think one of them had the, the had even less. His sanity is pretty low. I won't lie. HP is pretty good, mana and sanity, not so much. But there was someone in last episode, I can't remember who had like such low uh, mana that it's like if you want to cast two spells, good luck. Was it that word? Yeah, there we go. Gotta burn these things off. Oh, wait. Go on. That's one. What, the stuff? No, no. 
It's one of the rare things you actually don't need because we get the book after this room. Now it releases light. When I shoot into this, it should release light. Yeah, there you go. It'll open, yep. And now I'll get the book even. So let me see the map now. That's the first room I got into, yeah. So I can still go beyond there. I just need this to happen so I can get the book. There you go. And the last body has been added for the Count Edward Roivas. Now they're all here. Roberto, Max, here we go, you're the last one. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because of the location, think about it. Uh, that's the way, that, that's, I, that's how I think they thought about it. So. Because he is where he is, he's already strained and tired, so his sanity would be low, wouldn't it? You know, when people say, I'm losing my mind. Well, you know, it's always at least semi-literal, so it would make sense that he would... Oh, shit, no. They didn't finish the floor. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. There you go, sanity effects. Ooh, Chaturga, Chaturga Trappers. I see, I see an Uliat one. Only one more left, right? Oh yeah! Man, she's loud. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I don't mean tired. I mean, seeing the horrors of war, people dying, all that, you know, it affects your sanity. Can't be there. No matter how good of a firefighter you are, if you're stacking corpses and you just saw your friends explode and go into an ancient temple, I'd say your sanity would be, you know. But yeah, there's, there is something in what you said, uh, People in the ah didn't kite well. People in the past seem to have more of it. Oh shit! He stunned us both. Oh, I gotta take care of two of them. I'll be frozen, but so will you, dude. All right. That's not good. How about we try the same with the gun? I can't see his face. Shit, I'll have to heal. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Be right back, guys. Can't even heal properly. Come on. Yeah, they are draining mana. Uh, need for five rune. Exactly. Zdravo Maiko, dobroveče, dobroveče. Hello, mother of hippie. <laughs> I like how you call them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has, he has, I think, the lowest sanity in the game, doesn't he? The World War One dude. And zombie dude, he's, I wouldn't trade with him. Fuck you both. 
Those are like singles. I didn't set it to auto mode, so let's see. Let's keep it at three. Burst. Burst is good enough. Shit, look at the sanity they return. Back to the good music. My biggest gripe with uh, the sanity, keeping low, like, so I love the sanity effects and all that, don't get me wrong, but biggest issue with that is uh, it cuts the great music off. Oh, you mean like a playstyle? Yeah. There is something that with this game, there's a little for everyone, you know, no matter what your playstyle. There is a way to play the game that's going to be unique for you. There should be a worm attack here. There's a ladder. But I wonder where that effigy is. I think I know where it is. Oh, there it is. And there are the worms. down boy all right so it's two four five point blue which means we need five point green wow all right we got all three of them so let's check the map that's the effigy tunnel, so I'm gonna go to this one first, and then come back here later. Let's remember to save, because we don't know where we're going. I did save recently. Huh, now I'm saving too much. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> don't mind me, you just keep doing what you were doing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same, I'll do the... The big machine gun and the uh, assault rifle even. And then five on the axe as well. And then go in there and be like, hi guys. Didn't get to finish him. All right. Yeah, okay. That makes way more sense now. These guys burn just like Mantarok zombies, but we have no uh, torch with him. Should be one door here. No. I came from there, so I'm going down here now. First playthrough without secrets and max sanity, and after that, give me, give me everything, but keep the sanity. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, all right, he's there. Should be more. Yeah, that's a that's one of those. What are they called? Baby guardian dudes. Let's try to make this do it smart. You gotta kite him. Come on. Fucker. Full reload. Oh, oh, sorry. Holy shit, these bugs. Hold on. It'll... Nice. Alright. The sting bugs are up because the heat got, brought them back from hibernation, I guess. 
the last secret in Blood Omen. You know, I want to find all secrets in that game. There's, what, a hundred of them? And just recently, I found out that just recently people have found the last of them or at least you know more of them some of them are impossible to find and you know that hidden ship and all that the last five minutes i i since i sincerely doubt five minutes but yeah oh thank you for the risa bounty hi bounty hello bounty welcome bounty how you doing bounty why is there no Sound for Bounties resub Streamlabs. I'll have. I guess I'll have to do it. I can't remember what it went, but it was something like that. Yeah, it was like. There you go. You got a little live, livelier beat. Hello, hello, senpai. Welcome, brother. How you doing, senpai? Good day, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> I don't know how the, how how it turns out. I don't want to do that too much like near the mic. I don't think this mic is really good for that. But the new mic is in transportation for over a week now. So I'm awaiting at any moment. We got the headset for Sasha that we ordered and uh, and the new keyboard, but the microphone, the thing I wanted the most, that's what we're still waiting for. Hi, Senpai. Hi, Boundy. How you guys doing? Yeah, how you doing, guys? Senpai Ko. Senpai Trash TV. There you go. Shout out. Check out Senpai. A good friend. And a good artisan. Are you an artisan? Because you like... You're not a... You, you do things with your hands. You make them happen in material world. So that's an artisan, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you miss that much, Carter. But yeah, Twitch tends to lag from time to time. <laughs> you think? <laughs> well, that's easy to check, John. Get in front of the mirror and try to scratch your head. If you can see your hand moving on the mirror, you got hands. <laughs> Ooh, he does do things with his hands. <laughs> nah, Carter, it's like some days, some days it may happen that it's good. Most of the days it will not be good. Gotta have a kill uh, a ton of these little shits later. So one really bad thing about keeping low sanity, especially in the in the final chapters, is once sanity's out, it drains your health. Now that's ooh, that's not really um, helpful. I have a feeling that there's because I know this will be where the final, where the final uh, thing is. So let me go back here for a second. I'll save here, just so I don't... I don't know if I saved. I'm talking to my... I don't know where I saved. Did I just now? 920. Yeah, I'm gonna say I did. Yeah, it depends on the on the equipment and all that. But uh, I, I do have the... What is it called? The option for no lag. No lag streaming and all that. It just... Even the... the Big channels, small channels, doesn't matter if it decides... Ah, oh, shit, that little sucker. Sorry. So, it doesn't matter. It matters... Depends on the streamer up until a certain point, is what I'm trying to say. But after that... There is a thing that... that are you watching on phone or PC? Though, with both that happens. Sometimes when I raid someone, you know, I'll keep an eye there. Pause, unpause. And, you know, it catches up. Sometimes up to a minute. Mostly it's about 10 to 30 seconds. But it's more than enough, you know, to not have the Twitch menu. Lag or no lag. Yeah, there's literally an option if you want to do lagless stream. I think the, the lag, the one with lag is when you don't need uh, instant. When you don't you do like live interactions. 
So it's probably a little more secure, has more time to compress and code and all that, but yeah. Yeah, good luck. If you're watching a phone, man, good luck. That app, for, for an app that was made by its own studio, for its own studio, it really can do more. <laughs> Thank you for the re rehydration, senpai. Ah, uh, I, I keep gulping coffee, but no water. All right, so we're going up there to shoot uh, these guys. Come on, you dude. Come on. No, 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 he can use them. Better kill them. He'll use them. God fucking damn it. Summon the Ulya zombie, okay. No, can't shoot that. Oh god, okay, I have to kill the Ulya zombie. Damn, did I just trip on the... I think I just... I think I just tripped. On a, on a, on a rock. Alright, alright. One clip, but it was worth it. I have how many? 420 more. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Kill the bastard. I need that blue fog to disappear. Now, why did I do this? Was there anything to pick up? No, I could have just passed, really. It wouldn't change much. Wait, is this... Can you go down here? Yeah, there should be a ladder going down. Oh, there we go. And we'll end up where? This camera angle doesn't really help much. Woo! Haha, <laughs> just cut her bodies off. What the fuck am I doing here with taking their arms? Apparently cutting the cutting the body is the I don't have the room, but yeah. Is the right way to go. So I could have gone this way. I think I know where this is gonna end up. I think I know where I'm gonna end up. Wow. Worse than the Twitch app. Like, you know, that's one of the very few things I'm gonna say. I find it hard to believe. Yeah, that's the that's the hallway. Okay, so we didn't miss much. I could have just never been here. It wouldn't change much. But at least the map is now complete so we can see the overlays. Yeah, let's start from there. Okay, onwards. Too bad the good music's gone, but you know, all the crying might bring some uh, crazy shit to the screen. <laughs> He's just saying gibberish. He sounds like Grandpa Simpson. Am I getting smaller? No. Not today. Alright, this is this is as far as we've gotten. And we need this place because this is where we're gonna get the uh, enchanted gladius for the final final battle. Now that door has been sealed. This door has been open only in Pius' time, I think. No other. Yeah. Because this whole section was walled off. I think not even in Karim's chapter. Uh, if you guys are going to keep doing that, then I'll have to do something myself. Enter my heart. Enter my heart. Here we go. Minimum sanity. Okay, gotta be smart about this, because they're draining my health now. Alright. I need... That's all the sanity I need. I don't need anything else. Well, actually, I do. I'm going in there to solve that big puzzle. Enter my heart. 
Oh no no, that one's still that one's still lower. That one's still lower, the room with the cubes. We'll get there, I'm pretty sure, after this. But for now. That's a big zombie. What did they make that one from? You can keep. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta dominate all the figures. So, warrior. That's Chaturga. Red kills green. So he wants to kill. Which one is this? Scholar. That's right. Red green. They all gotta kill their opposing. That's a mage, sorcerer, blue, red, green, blue. So the red goes here. That means a warrior. Warrior goes here. That's a warrior statue, yeah. And finally, green, sanity, scholar, red, green, blue. She defeats the sorcerer driven mad yep so you gotta collect these effigies in kareem's roberto's and michael's chapter here you gotta have all three of them pass them down um to the next one always and then with michael here you can open this room and get that Legacy of King Defiance could have been way better if they had made the repeating dungeons exactly like Internal Darkness. Yeah, you know, that's a good, that's actually a good, a very good uh, judgment. <laughs> because they do, they do make you repeat dungeons 500 years apart, but in most of them not much has changed. It doesn't feel, so here, like you said, with... You come through here with Pius, right? But later with Karim, I don't think you even come from there. You come from here, I think. I do know that even later with Roberto, you come from this one that's walled off and you got to do some trickery to open this door. But this door is walled off then or like collapsed. Here we go. Michael. Michael. Enchanted Gladius with the opposing one. So who put it here? Who knew that Pius is gonna align with specifically Uliath and put the Uliath's weakness there, you know? <laughs> Somebody was working here in the background. It's probably Mantarok and his agents. It is said in the additional media uh, that Mantarok has basically agents throughout the world. So before I open that, before I open the way forward, we need the trapper here. Let's do an Uliath trapper because Uliath's voice just... So, <clears throat> think about it, Carter. Yeah, same idea, same dungeon, different times, different dimensions, but very different characters and stories. Yeah. In, they had even more chance to do it in Defiance because they have two different time periods, but like you said, two different dimensions. So you had spirit, spirit present and past and the material present and past. So they could have had like four different ones. You can make... You can make it interesting. Just don't repeat the same exact rooms or make them. They did make. The, they didn't have this siliconites uh, detail. Eye to eye for details. I'm gonna say, or like even just patience for details. Defiance kind of is kind of clunky. After the first first Blood Omen and first Soul Reaver were so detailed, the second Soul Reaver focused mostly on story. Fine, I got nothing against it. I do like the atmosphere and everything in the first one but sure then blood omen 2 is blood omen 2 we, we love it it's the it's the fool of the family but then defiance should have been so much better and it's still amazing you know but it's missing that zhuzh <laughs> throw all the story in the dungeons <laughs> what like punish it or make more story in the dungeons what was i gonna do uh i was gonna summon a trapper summon ulia so it's, it's Richard Doyle, Mobius is, uh, it is, yeah, Mobius is voice actor, he voices, 
I can hear him when he said when he's talking as Pius, but when he's talking as Uliath, if I didn't know it was him, I wouldn't have guessed it. Oh, you lose sanity while you're controlling a creature. Isn't that wonderful? I better be ready. Okay, that one's enchanted. I think there's gonna be a... Wait, what am I doing in the Ublie Cathedral? I'm in the wrong level. Oh no, I'm just on the... I'm just on the ceiling. Alright, we're doing that ceiling shit again. Yeah, it is very rushed. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. It is pretty rushed. And it feels for... Especially, you know, the part with the vampire worshippers? Whatever they're called. I want to know more. They have a whole language invented for the guys. And you see, you just see them when you're fighting them. And that's it. I feel like a lot of that game is missing somewhere on the cutting floor. Maybe the rising sun, dead sun would have told us more. Yeah. So much history in that game. In that uh, universe. That whatever, you know. Hmm, there's the thing we teleported <laughs> around the portal, but yeah, maybe there sh there would have been more shit to warp in with the uh, trappers. Why is it check? Oh yeah, I can't equip that one. Can you? Oh, that's the enchanted one. Yeah, I don't use I don't use a gladius. I use an X. The, yeah, the Seraphim Keep, yeah. Right. So that's the room with the cubes. Over here, Pius went... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I seem to have stepped on my remote. He came in there, like, solved the cube puzzle, and then ran over here and destroyed his own puzzle, his own statue. Did I go there? I'm going even deeper. And there's the... Final spell, which we already have, I think. Yeah, bind, which I'm I rarely use, but I should use it more. It's a very useful spell. And now we have them all. Yeah, five. That's five. We need the seven one. That's Bankrock air attack. Bankrock air attack. There you go. Will we see them now? I can't remember. Yeah, what Hippie said. What that guy said. Yeah, there is gonna be two horrors. Okay, before we begin that, I will want to shoot them in the face. Then dispel. What do you think? Dispel five or dispel seven? I did save just now, so let's try. Wait, where is it? Magic dispel five green. No, it's seven. It's seven after all. Yep. Wait, really? Oh, no. No, no, I fucked up. I'm too lazy to wait. Yeah, I know what I need to. Too lazy to wait for it to fill, so just do this. That's the thing what I what I really like um what I really liked about Code Veronica Resident Evil is because they use the same map but you uh after after the island is bombed, some rooms have are toppled, you know, some walls are toppled over. Some uh, some new openings are there. So, you know, 
I used it often as a very clever, very clever way to reuse the same map. You know, you use less data in making your game, you make it quicker, but it's still not the same room. It's, it is, but it's not. So we do want bind. I'm gonna say seven just to be safe. Now they're gonna fight. Do I need the enchanted gun? No, I can just axe this guy. Oh shit, that didn't turn well. So long, sucker. Choppity chop. Damn, that's a lot of sanity. There you go, the very first room. Are they beaming images into my uh, head? Yeah, so Pius came from here. There was a passage here, but it's gone now. Karim comes here to put the book down this ladder, and this ladder is broken afterwards. It was never repaired. Oh, it's bleeding. It's one bleeding room. The Metroid principle. Soul Reaver used it too. One tiny map with a tube running through it, like spaghetti. It is, yeah, that's a good way to that's a good way to explain that. So, reveal invisible. Because when I come here, it'll go wham. Well, that's one brave fly wants to die. So, we're just gonna do... Where's the magic spell? Reveal invisible. Let's go seven. Ta-da! Did I save? No, no need to save. Saving is for pussies. Like we always say. What was that? I don't even know what kind of... Alright, detonator caps. Alright, I got it. I got it the first time. Okay, time for the shield. Oops. Can I do it with another enchantment? No. Yeah. Alright. Need more mana. Do you stop bleeding there? I'm gonna slip and break my neck. Shit. Need a lot to get to seven. Yeah, you never hear Mentorok speak and except when uh, using his runes. Here we go, charge! Anything else here to kill? No. That's all. That's all, folks. That should be a getting crazy worms in my face. You just smack them once. It's like a. It's not even like you kill them, you slap them. Like. Pfft. That's it. Just gotta escape after this point, alright? Because I'm gonna need it afterwards. He's not gonna use the C4 by itself, I think. He's gonna say, oh, we need it to be a little stronger. Making it more powerful, yep. Alright, so... Uh, seven point enchantment. 
of Zelda. Alrighty, bon appetit, or like bon cooking, bon cuckoo. Closer to the pit. How closer do you want it, man? Three minutes. All right. Here we go. Best track in the game. Maybe should have cast another shield. Wow, that was perfect. It protects sanity too. So don't fight them if you don't have to. For this part I want maximum sanity though. Oh shit, shit, why did I go there? I wanted to go down where it's safe. No, the other door is open. Alright, here we go. Woo! Where's the shield? Let's see a three-point Mentorog just for sanity. Yeah, we get to see another part of the dungeon that we didn't see originally. Now we just gotta pass through all the baby zombies apparently. Okay, sanity restoration. We get out here and that's gonna connect to... Oh, pretty close, okay. One more room, I think. Ignore him? Just ignore him. They're not really good with chasing. They're more like for brute damage. It was this way, wasn't it? Was it? Or is this... Oh, this is another room. Yeah, okay. Here we go. That's right, that's right. A few years later. Grandpa looks like he's about to get mugged. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming, Grandpa. <laughs> Look, I... I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But he knows he's gonna die. He's doing it for humanity. Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. We never learn what it is, though. Good luck. Oh, probably... No, wait. No, that's... He's gonna mail it. That's right. He lived, but... Uh, but Gramps didn't. Well, at least we think he lived. His statue wasn't in the Hall of the Tome. All right, Alex, time to go into Enga. With your zero sanity and your good stories that you read, going to keep you occupied. I think the house is swarming. Oh, I'm, I'm losing... Why are Mantarog zombies here? He's on my side. He's supposed to be on my side at least. She lost all the sanity just from reading. Okay, now it's time to put to shortcut the five point uh, sanity. Recover five green, not cast the sign. Green up. Oh. 
Oh shit, why didn't I turn? <laughs> Damn, she threw him across the room. Ah! All right, I've never gotten this many times bitten in the face. No low sanity anymore, I'm sorry, it's the end of the game. There's nothing to be low sanity about. Got the crankshaft, so we can do that. So we gotta start somewhere else, I think. Was it? There should be more of these cranky things. This this looks like there was supposed to be a, a file or something here at one point. I doubt it's just a nice angle. No, not yet. Okay. So definitely this one. I probably didn't do some. Maybe there's a little... Oh, yeah. There's this one. That's right. I like how sensitive the GameCube sticks are. Always loved that about it. And the previous temple teaches you about this light trick. So you can apply it here. Not sure how that works, but just roll with it. Just like it rolled right now, you roll with it too. By the way, this room is very empty. There's nothing here but this mechanism, which always made me sad. It seemed like, you know... You can shove more shit in here, especially since Alex is the only one who has access to it. It wasn't, I think, the, Grandpa Edward added it. Someone just threw it in there, like, there you go, you fuck with this thing. Let's let's fill her up. Gonna need that before I venture down there. Three. Some HP she lost. Essence of a Chaturga and Forever Enchanted Gladius. So we have all the essences. We're going to use them down there. Let's go. Let's go rip that city a new one. Huh. <laughs> yeah. The Forever Enchanted uh, Gladius. Makes it so much easier. This one you can't. Sealed by Maximilian Roivas. But I think they I think they had a little case of rush near the end there because Edward does come down here. And I think that was supposed to be closed. And Edward was supposed to get down here just like Alex, but they probably were in a rush to finish it. I don't know why else she would say that. Unless maybe an error of some other kind. Oh yeah, it's full of Guardians of Uliot, alright. Before we go down there... She doesn't have the... She doesn't have the... Uh, the elephant gun, but we're gonna do the best we can with the shotgun itself. This will move them up to the top. Because once we go in there, it's going to be very fucky. Camera angles are completely different, like Carter said, than what Edward and uh, Maximilian had to go through. 
Ah, still cooking, but it's gonna be very nice later. Man, it looks really good when the resolution, when every pixel's there on the screen and uh, nothing's missing in resolution department, nothing's missing in... Uh, shit, I'm gonna need uh, a good shield. Nothing's missing in, uh, in the frame rate department. Shield, seven point, Chaturga. We're just gonna protect health now. Actually, I'm gonna... I should assign that, because I'm gonna use it a lot. So assign... Red... Instead of that 5 point, now we get 7 point shield. They tried to protect it. So yellow... Yellow was supposed to be one of the enchantments. It was... It's hypothesized that it belongs to Mantarok. Because uh, unaligned runes are yellow, these force fields, there are quite a few yellow enchantments in the game. The zombie magic that Anthony's cursed with is also yellow. What's that? Two, four, six, seven. Uh, dispel seven Zelda. But you know, it's it's just a, it's just a guess because there's a there, there there are traces there are some signs that show that could have been uh, an actual mentor of playthrough or something like it she's got probably the best stats in the game alex here i mean she is the chosen one but yeah all right so we gotta fix this one first we gotta find its pieces That's one, that's two. Okay, uh, enchant Zelda. Doesn't have to be, but why not? And now we can put him in. Wink, wink. Let's start with Chaturga. Ah, I shouldn't have. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go Chaturga. Red. Well. Zelothath over there, but it doesn't matter. I was going to make it pretty. Let her rest here. Oh yeah, Mantarok, that's right. We'll use Mantarok here. There you go. Let's go, one by one. Yeah, could be. Well, Mantarok, like I said, he's no good guy, but he definitely did step in for humanity quite a few times actually yes we're a valuable food source but he also recognized that you know we need to coexist they can't live without us definitely it's not bad you know yellow being humanity like some kind of weird simpsons <laughs> simpsons were right oh that was fast well bon appetit enjoy your meal man like watching a movie only you know the, the the director is talking back at you all the time okay now i kill what i need to kill everything else we can skip oh shit we're gonna go backwards now through all of them yep i don't need to pull the thing what i do need this is false i think it's gonna be It'll stay like that, because now she knows there's a floor there. Will I make it? Nah, I'll make it. Yeah. 
No trappers. No trappers clappers. So we're doing now, we're, we're summoning our own ancient, which means we'll need a summoning spell, which is tear and air attack. Well, literally summon a creature. You good, love? Watch out, there's stink bugs everywhere. One just one was just climbing the camera when I had to flick it. Stink bug? Yeah. Not a ladybug. No stink bug. Ladybugs are just too, they're too so much. They're too ladies <laughs> to do it. Since we're full with mana. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Exactly, Carter. Let's save. I always forget when I save. I can tell by the time I did, but two minutes ago. Damn. In my head, it feels like it's been a longer. Oh, it's the... Oh, shit. Shit, that was lucky. Look where I stepped right next to him. Good thing they don't have quite a reach. Let's go closer. That guy heard me. There's one more. He's smiling. Easy. So the other one must be on the other side. Where is it? Blood flows along the channel's garage in store for an unfathomable purpose to nourish the city's parasitic denizens or to be used to fuel Uliot's dark magic. Yeah, it's different for each ancient. I should read these. I think I can ignore it. No? She sees it somewhere. Slowly. Slowly. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Screw you, buddy. The, uh, the, the first time... So with Edward, it was uh, Dispel. We wanted to Dispel their magic. With her, it's gonna be Summon, because we want to summon our Ancient to battle Piuses. That's the only way. It gives you some clues along the way. Would be nice to just cast Protector around the entire planet, be like, Hey, Ancient, terrorize this. <laughs> One, two. That was perfect timing with the shield. All right, time to shield again. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Dematerialization. Laughter is the best medicine. You know, even if you're not ailing, it could still help. All right, let's see what awaits on the other side. It's these guys. All right, so we got to summon these and put them in there. Is it literally what it says there? So should I summon a blue? Let's try a blue trapper. Uliot trapper. All right, go forth for our master Uliot. Oh, just literally what it says, not even the opposing one because they were they were they were released when we were there with uh edward a, a chaturga zombie like the 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 beefiest of the beefiest the funniest spell scratch self <laughs> oh there's the one that's been annoying me it's watch out love it's flying around It's 
not impossible that they had something like that in mind, you know, because you can, you can. <laughs> That's nice, love. Oh, come on. You can just leave it until after the stream because it's just going to make things harder now flying everywhere. Watch it with the light. I wouldn't be there if I were you. <laughs> and finally, a zealot that horror. Horror. So zealot that is a horror, but yeah. Man, I love that effect. Particle effects are very nice here. For a game that was originally developed on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. Just casting protect and <laughs> casting enchant earth. That's our first horror of the game, and I'm just gonna use it here. Okay. That's the thing, so a lot of people use a more magic or more, you know, summoning and shit. I go with weapons, headshots, head cuts, all that. And, you know, I do recognize there are other ways to play, so you know, sometimes I change it up. I didn't, I played completely differently, you know, in, in my younger days, so to say. <laughs> Zelt that whore. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that should be in his uh, CV. What were you doing prior to this? Well, for the last 2,000 years, I was a zealot at war. Sure, sir, we might call you back. Don't expect it, though. Trappers look like little tiny zombies with tails, don't they? Nothing else left, okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. The nut pit. Okay, so here you just gotta go very slowly so you don't go crazy and have to restore everything. Just sneaky, sneaky. Not even with the shotgun. You know what? She looks better sneaking with the shotgun. Looks like an actual person. What do you mean with Mantorok without? Tippity, tippy toes, tippy toes. Suck a giant worm. Oh shit, do I have to go? Do I have to go? No, it's up there. It's in. No, please be here. Oh shit, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I could have sworn this is harder with Alex than with Edward, but I was wrong. It's definitely easier with her for some reason. For now, maybe I've forgotten something. I didn't even check for trappers. I was like, hacha! Ch no. Zelda. He was Uliot here, so yeah, I forgot. We were talking about it, so now I had to re recombobulate myself. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it doesn't give you a uh, proper clue, which I like, you know, I like having to think in games. That's why I still enjoy playing games like this. You don't, you don't have that much that way in the modern games, at least the ones I tried. They don't make you think the same, honestly. Or they don't make you think. I think there's one just to the left of me. Is that a cold single action army? No. Smith and Wesson 37, yeah. That's what Claire Redfield has. Where's the other one? <coughs> Pardon me, hold on.
<laughs> I'm coughing here, I'm coughing my lungs out. And Sasha's just like imitating me in the background. Oh, it's towards me, isn't it? Oh shit, I knew he was there. She wouldn't aim, probably the stone was covering him. You little fucker. What do I need? Nothing, just charge. Haven't been to the blue lands in a long time. Can't cast magic in the trapper dimension, which is whole like three rocks standing here. Just ignore him. Yada yada, bye bye. She is, you know, maybe because she, she's the chosen one or whatever. Look at that. She has some of the highest stats. I barely anyone beats her in sanity and magic departments. And I think only Michael and maybe one more person beats her in health department. I heard another one. I think regular walking is okay. Though I could steepy toe. Nope, don't hear them. Will I make it? No, I won't. <laughs> Holy hand grenade. Yeah, that's... So in Duke Nukem Time to Kill, there's a Holy Hand, gran... <laughs> Holy hand Grenade weapon. <laughs> One of the weapons you can use. And it's one of the most powerful weapons uh, in the game. Because it's a grenade that homes in on enemies. So it bounces around. You throw it. You can throw it lightly or strongly. It doesn't matter. It'll bounce around and home in on enemies. And it can cause like devastating damage. So, you know, at least someone did it properly. It is an... It is a... a it isn't a weapon that, that I save for, you know, the most stubborn enemies behind. When they're around the corner, something big's waiting for you with a big gun. You just lob a holy hand grenade. You'll just hear it, like, bounce off inside and guts flying your way. It's, it's really a sight to behold. And it's a little, like, it looks like a little church grenade with a... With a cross on top, it looks like, you know, the piece of the crown, I forgot what it's called, like the, the thing that would hold a jewel, but it's holding a, a grenade. Ah, oh, shit, look where we are. Sneaky, sneaky. Move, camera, I need to fucking see. Oh, they're invisible, that's why. I'm pretty sure I need to do this. How about reveal invisible with Mantarok? That should, like, reveal everything. They, the, the trappers are activated by sound. Oh shit, that doesn't work. Okay, that was a waste of mana. They're activated by sound. Oh, she's invisible now. That's the difference. That's right. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I forgot. That's what it does. They're activated by sound, but not by, by you know, using spells. They're like, they're, they don't give a shit about that. Why is it not killing it? But it's making no enough noise. Yeah, reloading noise. Fucking reloading noise activated it. Can you believe that? Oh, fuck, something's happened with the internet. Hold on, let me check. Got no Wi-Fi whatsoever. Yeah. But only on the laptop though, not on the mobile. Nope, wait, it's gone on the mobile too. Oh no, the Wi-Fi antenna broke, I think. Hold on. I'll try to... I'll be right back. Alright, we should be back for real. There we go. There we go. Okay. So the weird thing happened. Wi-Fi died. Like the it's he it's there, but no device can connect to it, no matter what you click on, which is something that happens with Wi-Fi sometimes. Didn't have to happen right now, but you don't get to choose, do we? We're here. We're it's all working, so we can continue. I forgot what I was saying before that, but uh 
an ad. <laughs> you can't watch a stream here. Enjoy this ad. That's definitely what you wanted to watch today. We're pretty sure. We're almost sure of it. Bye bye, horror. All right, love. Yeah, fair enough. I got your challenge. Okay, now. No, they should definitely hear me. Three bullets. Why is it not hitting him? That guy's what invincible? Fuck. What is his secret? Only ten bullets left after this. Well, I won't need them. That's for sure. Probably didn't need to kill them all, but... More? More after that one? I think that's it. No? Okay, now they're all dead. Sheesh! So that room is there definitely just to be annoying. <laughs> Double down on the shield. That's a very far spot to run without a shield. It would just be fatal. She'd still limping halfway across. She'd never make it. So there's three more left to activate. The second to last will be the another like polarizing rune. And then after that, the final one will be Pargan. Carter, are you with us? Oh shit, we got these, that's right. What was the deal here? I'm supposed to use magic attack. I think... I think it's to fight off their weaker parts, so... There shouldn't be any order about it, but red, green, blue, red, green, blue for red. So, Ulia. Magic attack. That's the wrong spell. <laughs> Dispel magic. I'm not reading. Magic attack. Magic attack. There you go. Magical attack. Oh, so it doesn't matter which way we go. So green. Then green will kickstart it. Okay. Or do I need five? Fuck, I forgot what to do here. No, it needs to be five. Okay. So I need a five point attack. Or is it a seven point? Still not enough. Then we'll try a seven point. 
but I'll have to recharge my mana every time. Oh, thank you, love. You know what? It's been a long day. Why not? That's all the mana I have. Let's see if it works. There you go. It is. <laughs> Thanks, love. It is. It was a seven point that I needed to do. Okay. Where's the exit? Where's the... Oh, the exit's like behind the camera, is it? No? Or is it up there? Wait, what does the map say? The map will tell me. It's a little to the right of the handle. Okay, so it's gonna be the third... It's here. It's hard to see because it's pitch black. Well, no guardians here. I expected a lot more guardians. But that's that's Max. Ma I'm sorry, Max. That's Edward. Edward has to fight the whole fucking army here. Alex does not. She just got to defeat Pius. Yeah. Oh, it's only hard when Carter's there. <laughs> it is suspicious. He did say he has. He's got two thousand points, and he didn't redeem anything yet. So uh, I am worried. Couldn't even get the messages. So summon and finally a bargain, and that'll do it. This is the only nine, nine, nine point summoning circle in the entire game. Well, nine point, you know, magic circle, whatever. Huge stone block etched with this bizarre etching dome in his room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? Or a bastardized interment of its loathsome conquerors? Alright, loathsome conquerors. We're the... <laughs> no, it's Alex Roivas. Roivas, 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 Vas, Vas, Vas. Alright, we need to destroy oh, another one. Seven. Now dispel seven green. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier with her. Will I make it? Well, I have to now. I've, I'm committed. I didn't take my health away for a few seconds here. I guess it's allergic to stairs. Alright, last rune. Here we go. The final one. Are you ready? It's about to, like, sh shit's about to get serious. Even more serious than, you know, it already is. He will destroy my shield, if I remember correctly, so it doesn't matter what I do about that. Now you save. Before the final rune is inscribed. There it goes. Imagine, like, do all this and it goes like... <laughs> you made a mistake. Oh. Gotta go all the way there now. Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I have to make them fight in order to pass. Bind seven zelt. You just hit him once. I had just enough mana. <laughs> Come on, fight guys, fight, 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 fight. With my enchanted gladius, I send thee to hereafter. Hiya! It's like she's cleaning a chicken. Die, foul beast. Shit, where the fuck am I now? Oh, I wait, I know where I am. A charge! Just run straight, run straight, run straight. There you go. And one final push. Almost there. Here we go. Well, it doesn't matter. He's gonna destroy the shield as soon as I enter, if I remember correctly. But, you know. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Alright. It does manually the final save. Here we go. Miserivus, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began two thousand years. Man, you're slow. Summoning spell two thousand. Did you see what I did? I did it like in thirty minutes. Not even thirty minutes. I took less. I was fucking around. Well, have you seen? What it means to be no. Human, He's not good for this. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning, yeah, we will war, scream. Have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancients. Why so smug all of a sudden? Now, pious, this is the end. <laughs> What's the? Indeed. What's her name? I forgot. Uh, no, no, the the voice actress. She's very famous. I think it's she voices uh, Zelothat as well in one part. Two two people voice her, two women voice her, and was it Elia as well? Here we go. Epic! Hi, Jelly. Jelly and jelly. Welcome to the plane of existence, boy. For the whole five minutes you'll be here. Jennifer Hill, that's right. Ah. No Chaturga this time, though. Chaturga is, like, not in this playthrough. Nobody gives a shit about it. So while the ancients are fighting, I'm gonna fight Pius right here. With all the Eternal Darkness characters. Boom boom boom. So I need a five 
Okay. Oh, he's trying to. Oh shit! I will need. Um, let's 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 put it there. The spell five green. Oh, it's there. It's deep at right. Or is it reveal invisible? Fuck, do I? Ah, oh, fuck, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, alright, that's what we need to happen. That's right, that's what we need to happen. Why it didn't get me, boy? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no running. Well, I can't honor that, man. I can't beat him without running. It's just gonna be per <laughs> pointless. Are we doing... Um... Oh yeah, I gotta take the book. It's literally impossible to beat him without running. He will always get an upper hand. Yeah, there's no, there's no way. I'll be stuck in a loop. Where's the where's the essence? I can just like walk around two minutes with him. Woo! And that. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll walk very slowly once he's away. Come on, Pai. Uncle Pai. Ah, fuck, backslash. Ugh, I'm going the slowest I can reasonable while still moving ahead of him because his walk is pretty fast. He's doing three point, okay. Stealth or gear is solid. <laughs> Come on, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. You gotta be faster than him, man. Oh, how the fuck did I not hit him? At least that was lucky. Ooh, smack. Come on, bitch. Shit, wait, I can see it. Just don't shoot at me. If you don't shoot, we'll be fine. We'll be good pals. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, there's no point in that, really. But I mean, there's, there's kill and then there's overkill. There's a BFG in the face overkill. <laughs> <clears throat> There's three, four more left. Don't cast. Yeah, sh he well, he will always get all your sanity. Oh, that's a five point. Okay, he's doing stronger ones now. Do we see it spawn? Oh, there it is. Oh shit, with Max, running is like walking. Look at that, that's his running. This is his walking. <laughs> he is the slowest character in the game, I think. But Haya! Just don't let it hit you, that one stuns. The blue ones always stun. Because it affects your head. 
Here, Pius, I'm sneaking to get to it. It's up there. Oh wait, Paul can actually walk. Yeah, there you go. Paul walks almost as fast as Pius here. Oh shit, that was last moment. Oh, every weapon has a different... Come on. Come on. Alright, hit for hit. I can take that. Every weapon has a different hitbox from different altitudes. And the maze definitely has that. Oh. One more. No, that's it. He's the last one, is it? Goodbye. <clears throat> that's the slowest... That's the that's the chillest I've ever beaten this bo boss. Thanks to you, Carter. Just like he's doing shit. <laughs> I'm like taking a leisurely stroll. Here we go. The final, the the full ending. Enjoy, guys. Oh shit. Now the final, final one, wait. He's doing the shield now. Yeah, now, now, now we gotta defeat each other in battle, actually. Okay, okay, just, just keep your wits about you. Now it really hurts him, actually. Woo! Come on, Pius, come on. Ring around the room. Where is he? It's coming from somewhere. It's not really a good camera angle to be at, but... And he will drain your sanity no matter what you do. Oh, I, w I wonder if you could... If he can hit himself with his own... With his own spell. Come on. Oosh. No, not really good. Come on, die. Kite. Oh, he's got one more shield, alright. Gotta go this side, actually. Now it's one on one. Shit! <laughs> that was close. Uh, recover three red. <sighs> it's been. Woo it's been. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going with the heavy attacks now. I need I need a little more help. All right, now to the left. It should be theoretically possible for him to hit hit himself. But it's not easy. Come on, hit yourself. There you go. He's almost dead. All right, here, there he goes. He's low health. Uh, I think he got to walk. No, no running redeem now. Come on, hit, hit the air. Okay, we're good. No, I didn't need that. That's not what I wanted to do, but... Recover, red. <laughs> Man, it's been... It's been... I, I, I've honored it twice over now. Temporarily. It's been longer than three minutes, has it? Yeah.
You gotta listen for the runes if you don't want to waste stamina. Alright, come here, boy. No, he's just casting spells now. Because he can't get here. You're way too slow, bro. Did he die? Goodbye, sir. Do I finish him? No, she finishes him. Alright, that's it. Yeah, every time that tricks me, I'm like, oh, that's it. But there's a third bat. Third, yeah, there's a whole part of the battle where you actually have to fight him and not the ancient. <laughs> Solid logic. She wins for now. But now we gotta bind it. What was the binding spell again? The darkness is not so easily destroyed. I don't know, man, after two thousand years. What, there's gonna be a sequel? You liar! It's been 20 years, nothing happened. We don't even know if Dennis Dyak is really Dennis Dyak. Maybe... Maybe an ancient replaced his identity. Who's to say? It's like she tasted blood in that scene. She's like, hmm, I could go for this killing. Now we see how Zelatad ends the world what have I done well I mean what you had to do oh there's old gramps coming to help quickly Alex we must find this creature it cannot be allowed to remain in this universe summon absorb dispel project protect protect was it right yeah, protect. Not as I, not that I recall. Yeah, I think it would just be like, no, that's not it, or maybe like game over. <laughs> Good question. <coughs> we should try that. All right, now we definitely get the full ending. And Carter, just because I love you so much, I will redeem those points to you, even though I had to fucking walk around Pius. <laughs> For now, at least, Carter, you can torture me another day. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time, and so much to do. For the mega sanity. Everybody becomes super... Super sane. You make super sane Earth, everything ends. Yeah, there you go. Well, less than two and a half hours, yeah. New knowledge now seeped inside. But this is not all, so then I realized that I was not the only one. There we go. That there were many others like me in other places, other universes, fighting the same fight. Yep. All to serve the needs of the great ancient. And to have my world spared. From eternal darkness. Yeah, we should see Mantarok work across time, right? Yep. And so it comes to pass. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. It was like a combined timeline. The mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zelotarth. That was the per first playthrough. The madness of Zelotarth. Does it go in the order we did it? Uliauth. Oh no, that was the, the third one. Uliauth has decimated the power of Chaturga. Yeah, it doesn't go in the same order. at once, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities. Time streams, you say? <laughs> in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains. 
is slowly dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients. He was their boss, basically. An entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Can't you, like, rescue it? Unable to rally its guardians. It could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Roivas family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in their mutual annihilation. Smart bastard for a dead now, guy. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting. Until the sequel eventually comes along. <laughs> You've overcome the darkness that has prevailed for over two millennia. This accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, would you like to record this grand occasion in the pages of human history? Yes. Well, would you please say no to that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Imagine, like, all the, like... My brain is going to explode, Carter, just thinking about it. <laughs> or just like end all wars maximum sanity everybody there's no reason to fight anymore i have improved your sanity everyone's gonna be good from now till always but what about disease all right that guy's insane kill him well, that's it. That, that was Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem. Third playthrough. As promised, it's done. Thank you all for being here. It was a very chill stream after such a hard working day. And um, it, it, all, it all fell into place. So we couldn't get Mayo for RE6 for a while. Now, Joe couldn't make it today either. Um, and it, like... When things happen, it doesn't look like they're happening good. They, it can be, you know, something in the background can be... You know, when one thing goes bad, another thing goes good. Or some such bullshit, I don't know. Imagine uh, imagine wisdom another, here. <laughs> when one door closes, another opens. Yeah, when you flip one coin on heads and tails, the, uh, the third one falls on its edge. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for being here, Carter. Uh... I'm going to I'm going to make a long term longer long termish schedule here in a day or two possibly tomorrow and um, just to see some of the games there are, so Resident Evil 6 will end and you know 7 and 8 will come and go and Revelations 2 so three more games after that three more Resident Evil games and then we're done with that and then we're going to do some other games very good interesting games like this one here and you know like games you usually play I think they're interesting at least. So we'll get to we'll get get to that. Keep an eye on Discord for that super sexy schedule, long-term schedule. I'm going to try to make it into the animation, so like starting soon. Thanks for watching whatever animation there as well. And uh Well, yeah, one of the redeems with the points you're going to come <laughs> get back, one of the redeems is to suggest a game. So the very first game that I'm going to play like that was redeemed by uh Mayo Hazard. And it's going to be Yoshi's Island. So that's first I'm going to put on the list. But by all means, man. Uh, I do have to put the list of games I have in there. So people know what they can redeem. But we'll get to that. We'll definitely get to that. And yeah. When people do it, I don't have to think about the schedule at least. You know. <laughs> but yeah. Enjoy the end credits. And wonderful game, guys. Uh, very possibly tomorrow. Even though normally no stream. Very possibly an outbreak making up but we'll see oh i would love that i do not have it though but i would love that man i would love to play the shit out of that it's definitely on my list to play you know once i get to it that's the psp one was it psp or was it i think it's a psp one yeah which makes it a little harder to stream as well but you know i find a way in these things all right that's enough of that thanks again enjoy the ending See you Saturday, if not tomorrow, very possibly tomorrow. Mwah. Good night, everyone.